You see this right here? That's going to be you. And I'll tell you why in a second. So we are here to talk about SQL or SQL. What is it and what is it all about? Well, if you're new to databases, you're new to SQL, well, this video is for you. But I will warn you, if you're watching this video because you're trying to get to sleep and you're having trouble sleeping, you're looking for a really boring database video, this is not the video for you. My videos suck for that. So at the end of this video, that's going to be you because you're going to be happy that you've learned what you wanted to learn and you had a great time doing it. SQL, what does that stand for? Structured Query Language. And what is it all about? It allows us to interface or to communicate with a database. But what is a database? That's the first thing we want to discuss here. So let's just go ahead and get this off of the board so we can talk about a database. A database is a base of data. This is where you store your data, you store information. So we'll just go ahead and draw a little diagram here, a visual representation of a database. So database, it's where you store your data. And you store the data in what we call tables. So database is all about tables. You could have a table about orders, if you're dealing with a database for an order management system or a trading system, we'll just say ORD for short. And you can have a database about executions. So in the executions table, you can have information about execution. So someone sends out an order and they get a fill back, then you can have that listed in the execution table. If you have an order sent out, someone sends out an order to buy IBM, there's your order. So row one, order one. Someone sends another order out, row two, order two. And that's the way the database is. Now where SQL comes in is, now think of the database as a software or program. So you can't really you can't really read it. It's not designed for you to read it as a human, right? So here you are and you want to know information about your orders, but you have an unhappy look on your face because you can't read that Google Googly Gawk or whatever. <laughs> um, you can't read that. So you need something to help you read that. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can actually use a program, an application. So in this case, let's say we're talking about trading, it can be a trading application. Trading application that's connected to the database and the trading application has a, a GUI, graphic user interface, that allows you to see the information in the data, in the database. So when you look on your screen, you can see all your orders and all that information. Because basically what happens is, and again, this is, this is the first instance of, of uh, SQL, the application can be capable of running what we call SQL queries. So SQL, or SQL, Structured Query Language, is a language that you use to communicate with the database. That is the only language that the database knows. You want information on the data, on, on the data that's in the database, you need to use SQL. So the application can translate your clicks, whatever you're clicking on in, in the visual interface of this application, it can translate that into SQL. So whenever you click on something and type in the fields and things like that, it generates a query, sends it to the database, and the database responds back with the results. Now, the other way that you can access this, so now you're, you're, you're happy now because you can see what's in a database. Now, the other thing you can do is you can use a query tool, and this is where you, can you yourself, you can actually run your own queries. You don't need an application to do it. You can manually do it. If you're the type of person that loves to run things in DOS and you know do DOS commands and stuff like that, well, you'll love the query tools. So in the query tool, you can manually create your own queries to request data. For example, we have, again, the orders table, executions table. Let's say we want to look at something in the orders table. We can do a, I'll give you an example of queries. I can say select, hopefully you can see my horrible writing. I apologize if you cannot. Select, just listen to me if you can't see this. Select star from orders, or for short, and then we give a condition. So we can say uh, select star from orders where symbol like, and we can say IBM. Now this syntax is not exactly correct here, but just to give you the idea, that's the kind of query that you can run using your, your query tool. So you would type in a command line similar to this, not exactly this, but similar to this, right here in this query tool, just by typing in, you know, it's command line thing. So, or there's actually GUI based, there's actually GUI based um, query tools you can use as well. But uh, 
tools like MySQL, you can actually type in these command lines, you know, type in these actual words and letters on your keyboard, you know, boom, 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 and then you type in your query, and then the results come back, and you're gonna see, for example, oh, it says uh, IBM, you know, 100 shares, whatever, whatever, so your results come back after you run your query. So that is how you communicate with the database. That is how you access the information in a database. It's by using the structured query language. It's by using SQL. Now, let's look at another dynamic of this whole process. So, what is the database all about? Stores your data. But beyond that, and, and more than the database, we're talking about database applications or database software, um, like Sybase, for example. What is it all about? It's all about myrrh, frankincense and myrrh. Huh. No, not quite. Myrrh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about M-I-R-R. Myrrh, what does that mean? Well, modify, insert, remove, and request. That is what it's all about. When you connect SQL with the database via the query tool, via your application, however it is that you communicate via the database, via using the SQL language, this is what it's all about. What is your purpose? What is your function in life? What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is to modify your data in the database to insert new data into the database, to remove existing data from the database, or to request data from the database. A lot of data in that uh, whole MER situation there, but that's what it's all about. So, like for example, we, we had our order that we said was in the, in the database. I can modify that order. Let's say the application is tracking the order, right? You have an order, you get a 100 share fill on the order, so 100 shares have been executed. In this database, you can have a, a cum quantity column that tracks how many shares are executed on the order, and it can say 100, right? 100 has been executed so far. Now, if another execution comes in, you need to modify that quantity. So that's where you do your modify. So I'm not sure if you guys can see over here in the corner. So we have this cum quantity, which would be one of the headers in our database, in our table here, and it was equal to 100. Now we can do a modify using the SQL query, and we can update that value to indicate 200. So that's how we can track the order process. As the order gets processed and, and, and executions are coming back, we can update them using SQL queries, SQL queries generated by the application. Now we can also remove, let's say we want to remove that order, we can remove that from the database and um, we can also, obviously the original order was originally inserted and that's an actual command that you can use in, in, in uh, SQL. You can say insert and then you can give the criteria or the syntax to insert a particular row into the database and of course you can remove things and you can request things. Show me all the orders that have a symbol of IBM. Now in the next video, we're gonna go over different queries that you can run in uh, using SQL to access information in a database. But in this video, I just wanted to get you guys the basic concept of you know what SQL is all about. Now, before we wrap this up, I want to attempt to read your minds. Now some of you guys are saying, and gals, hey, um, some of you guys and gals are saying, you know, what do you need a database for, man? If it's just to store your data, it sounds like a lot of complication for nothing. Because you can, and this is accurate, you can store, if it's just information, you can store it in a spreadsheet. Hopefully not a crooked one like this, because this is probably illegal. But um, you can store it in, in, in a, just a regular spreadsheet, right? You can have your heading, so you can say, uh, for, for every order, so you have a symbol, and we'll just abbreviate this, so sim for symbol, and then we can have uh, QTY for quantity, and then we can have uh, cum quantity for how many shares of the order have been executed. So that's our format. This we can have this in a spreadsheet, and then we can have each row. So order one is on IBM. Order two is on 
AAPL, our favorite stock, 100 shares, 10 shares. Uh, this has been executed completely. This has been executed halfway. What do you need a database for? There's your data right there. Well, a couple of reasons why you need a, a, a database, why you might need a database. You know what to do. Click on that like button. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.